fellow creative birdies, how are you guys doing? I think I have you guys a little too close. Turn on some lights. The shop is now open for some creativity. What's in there? Okay. So, uh, I finished some cereal. A Trader Joe's coconut cranberry granola. I eat it as cereal. It's really good. And there's a chocolate one that's really yummy as well. Anyways, this is going to be, be handy. It'll be our base for our postcards. If you're new here, I have a series on postcards. This video belongs to the March postcards and they're all in a playlist. You can find them all in the playlist called Creating Postcards Together. And I did throw them been throwing videos into the marathon playlist because loads of people love to just turn me on and leave me on while they're working on things, even while they're sleeping, which I think is really cool. So remember, this is part two. Also remember in the tags how you can tell which video belongs to which video when it comes to postcards for Patreons and for you guys because you guys can purchase these as well. These are not limited to Patreons. Anybody can purchase these postcards from me. Last month I did quite well. Good enough. Grateful. Um, a lot of you uh, viewers purchased a, quite a few postcards. So anybody can purchase these postcards. As long as you have a means of how to pay their $7, that's with shipping. That includes me making it handmade. And then I do art. Anyways, I don't know where my mind is going. Huh. Oh. So in the title, how you compare the dogs are distracting. That's what it, what's going on. Uh, each each video in the title, there will I will put some what are they called emojis on each end. And for instance, last month I had some tornadoes. I think they're called. Whew. For all 15, I think it was 15 videos. Could be 13. 13 videos. All of the titles had tornadoes. For this series, for March, there will be sunflowers on each end of the title. And they're called March Postcards Mixed Media Something. But there, there's sunflowers on the ends. Okay. So some of these I think are done. But you guys know me. I always say done. And then they're not. And I mean done as far as backgrounds. Possibly I can work on that one a little bit more. I can work on this one a little bit more. This one definitely needs work. So these are all dry. It's been 24 hours later. Some more work on that one. This one's pretty good. That one's good. This one's good on this side. And to be honest, we only really need one side. That one's pretty good. This one needs work. That's pretty on this side, but not this side. And that's perfectly fine, because I can use just this side. Um, that's pretty on this side. That needs more work. And that needs more work. Okay. Hang on one second.
Okay. There's a low, uh, a good amount of people that ask me to do long, 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 long videos. They can listen to me all day. And then there's a very small amount that say that they're, they apologize, they're kind. Some of them, most of them apologize and say, I would love to watch your videos, but I don't have the time for it. Your videos are too long and chatty. Can you please just get to the point? I get you. I hear you. But there's many, 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 and I say this not in any rude way, but there's a load of videos and other channels you can watch. Now, you're not going to get what you get from me, from them. They are unique in what they do, and I am unique in what I do. So I can't be what everybody wants me to be. I can only be what I want to be and what I feel comfortable being, and that is long, chatty videos. I'm the person that comes over and you can't get rid of. That's me. Okay, that's too orange for my liking, but perfectly okay because it'll all come together. I love that. It'll all come together for sure. Grab a brush as well. I have one hair flying around in the front and it's tickling my nose. For these, I think I want to use this little small jelly plate over here on the side. No, Finini. We're not playing this game today. We have loads and loads and loads and loads. Finini, Mom said no. Of butterflies in our yard. All around here in LA, California, there's loads of butterflies. Have you guys been seeing them? No, 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 no. Benini's a loud studio audience. Benini is the same dog that I call Puppy. <laughs> She's the same dog I call Beans. She's like me. Her original name is Panini. But her nickname is Beans. And Pee Pee. I like to call her Pee Pee. Okay. I think I'm going to mix some of this with gesso. Now that I know I have loads of gesso because. Oh, let's see. Where is that gesso? As a matter of fact, Janet sent me over some gesso. Where'd I stick it? There it is. And then she sent me some money to buy. A big huge thing of powder for gesso and I know that there's people that sell the powdered gesso and I know that Dick Blick sells it but I found it for even cheaper than than anybody on Amazon it's actually cheaper than Dick Blick and if you know somebody or you yourself have Amazon Prime it's even cheaper than Dick Blick, and it's even cheaper than um, these small little uh, stores that sell the powder. Oh yeah, for me this is much better. This looks kind of Halloweenish. I'm gonna leave those stripes there. I know who would love this card. Would be Kelly Donovan. Would love this Dean card. So we'll see if we send it over to her. Depending, depending if I have extra. 
She loves the greens and purples. Really pretty. I'm going to need some water. Good enough for now. Pretty color. There's nothing, nothing to it. Nothing to it. As long as just, just you just allow the process to come through. And accept if it looks like crap like that. Just accept that it'll eventually be something. It'll come through. What other color, kids? Let's do this. These are those cheapy, I think they're cheapy, I'm assuming these are kids paints, wreaths. And if they're not kids paints, they're cheapy paints, I think they're the ones that usually come in kits. But I could be totally wrong, so don't believe me. But they're good quality, I would purchase them. At a decent price on sale, I would purchase them. For sure. The colors are very pigmented for me, for my liking. This, what what I like doesn't mean everybody else likes, or doesn't mean it is that top quality. Let's mix blue and green and see what color we get. I have a color wheel. Don't come at me about not knowing my colors and mixing. That's pretty. It's like a sea green. Plus we got a little bit of purple. Became a nice turquoise color. Very nice. I think I want to mix that color again right now. Pretty pretty. That's actually pretty. Pretty pretty. Okay, let's play around some more. I want to mix that again. What was it? It is... Viridian Hue. A little bit of gesso that's here. There's plenty in my brush. Mix with with ultramarine. Let's see if we could do that again. Beautiful. And then whatever uh, gesso I have on my brush. That is pretty pretty. Okay. Some water. I actually need to drink some water. It is a very nice spring day today. 75 degrees, not too hot, but just hot enough to where I had to put on a tank top. I really have to search for my tank tops. Oh, that's pretty pretty. Oh, that's pretty. 
That'll be where I put the postage. Okay, let's continue. one going. Now, ah, excuse me. Um, I personally would sand this down first, but instead I'm going to just gesso it. We should be okay. But to be honest, I suggest if any of your cardboard that you're using on uh, junk mail that with advertisement that has a gloss my suggestion would be for you guys to sand it down gently and then paint on it because most likely a good amount of times what happens is over the amount of years or months all of a sudden your paint is chipping off but I'll be okay Although these are going to be postcards, this will be the side where I put the postage on. Where I put my stamp, your guys' address, my address. So the art won't go on this side for me. But if you're having that problem, I had that problem and as a beginner I just didn't know. My suggestion is that you just give it a good sand any advertisement with a gloss. Some people may not have a problem. You know, it always depends on where you live, the weather, your paints, the technique you use. But I'm just saying, just in case. And yes, I'm just going to flip it over, even though it's wet. And most likely it's going to stick and I'm going to rip cardboard. I like rip cardboard. I do. Okay. No. This is the side the art will go on. Look how pretty that looks. Pretty pretty. Now this is just going to be Ooh. The bottom portion, I'm thinking, well first I see a mosquito. We have Mexican bats um, coming to the rescue here in Los Angeles. And they, that's clear, are eating up the mosquitoes for us. This is paper. I'm breathing through my mouth today. This is paper decoupage, and I do want to put down, yes, this is the way I work, even with glue. I overuse everything, except for food, <laughs> except for food. Yeah, they're helping us out with the mosquitoes and they're eating them up. And they come from Mexico. I'm surprised that they're coming over here to help us. But I'm grateful for them to come over here and help us. Hard-working bats. They've been um, spotted over in the L.A. River. mosquitoes. My orange tree, my avocado tree, my lemon tree, my Frida Kahlo. It's all beautiful and blooming right now. Okay, so like I mentioned, I have loads of tissue I need to get rid of. 
So that's what I'm going to do. I don't mind wrinkles, but if you do, if you wet your tissue, it'll go down so much easier. Mosquito. Mosquito. You can pull it out, but I don't mind them, so I like them. I'm not going to put too much texture in my postcards. I never really do. The only time I put a lot of texture is on my journals, canvases, uh, what else? My ATCs, which are artist trading cards, just in case you didn't know. I haven't done any of those coin trades. Um, there's the artist coin trade. Everybody seems to be getting bit by the bug of the artist coin trading. Not I. I usually don't follow trends. I march to the my own beat. Some of this will show up and some of it won't. Maybe all of it will. It's going to do what it wants to do. Just we're just re releasing. You know, art is so much therapy. Crafting is so much therapy for yourself. It's and it's very soothing. I love it. Even if you don't make a masterpiece, it's, like, it's just releasing your day, your month, your week. And it's opening creative juices, right? You might try something and not not be great at it. And you might try something and you might be amazing at it. But you'll never know until you try. Things that we tell our kids, we need to start telling ourselves as adults. Because we seem to have forgotten. And we play the adult role so often. We seem to have forgotten to just play. Just going like this, I get shooting pain. Straight up my arm. But I should be going to the gym again starting next week and work very slowly to see if I can release the tension that I feel in my, my joints. If you're anywhere in the LA area, there's this gym called Fitness 19, I think it's called, and their membership is uh, $10 a month. And then there's another one called Fitness World, I think it's called. That one's $10 as well. And you get all the classes you need. The only thing you don't get is a personal trainer. That's extra. I don't need a personal trainer. I like to work by myself. But just just letting you know. Okay, we need some more here. We don't have to have it, but I'm going to. And over here I have my coffee filters that I like making. I have a really, 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 really not gonna lie. Really good class over there on Patreon. 
that have to do with coffee filters and fairies. And it's a class. All of my classes are so worth more than $20. They really are. I'll be the first one to say that. Well, I'm not the first one. All the people that have taken it really have enjoyed it and tell me that it was way worth and more that $20. I have given away free classes, the $20 classes, to quite a few people. You just never know when I give one away. I most prefer to use some school glue instead of this very expensive Mod Podge. Mod Podge to me is a very good product. I wouldn't want to be without it. But it is pricey. I can buy a package of ground beef for the money of... Excuse me, for the money of Mod Podge. For the amount that it costs. So what do you think I'm going to do? Me personally. I'm, I'm going to buy ground beef or some kind of meat, chicken, pork chops, whatever it is. So I'd rather actually uh, say we're going to stop here. I'm going to let this naturally dry because, yes, my electricity still screwed. Um, and look for my school glue. I'm going to chill out. Uh, drink some water, do some vaping, watch some videos, interact with you guys. I interact with you guys on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and email. Um, just reach out. What else? Oh, and Patreon. There's messaging boards on Patreon as well. What else? What else? Oh, I'm going to look for my school blue because I'd rather use that. I've been keeping my eye out, even though I don't go out very much. I've been keeping my eye out for big, a big gallon or half a gallon or quart, whatever that is, of white paint so that I can mix up some gesso because I have the powder, I have the glue. I just need to wait for a big thing of white paint. What else? Um, so we're going to call this done sort of kind of actually no, let's let's finish this one up and then we'll call it done I need to stop breathing through my mouth I don't know what's going on I got a nice surprise today my daughter her friend one of my favorite friends that my daughter has Pershing her name is Alexis she brought me her leftovers to eat, and that was such a great surprise. I was sitting under my orange tree, just relaxing. Really, I was keeping the dogs company. What am I doing here? I'm losing my, my train of thought. Hang on a second. going to play like this. And if I don't like it, then we'll grab something else. And I hear somebody, my, well, I hear my daughter from the street. She says, Mom. And I was like, hey. And then she goes, Pershing has something for you. We call her Pershing. And I said, okay. So the, I opened the gate, came in, and she gave me her my favorite food is Thai food. I love Thai food. As long as it doesn't have fish sauce. I don't like fish sauce, but I love Thai food. I love anything Thai. 
you asked me what uh, my favorite food is, it's Thai food. It really is. It's so fresh, so good. Anyways, so I got to have a treat today and it was so special. To me it's like a piece of heaven. Love, love, love Thai food. I'll choose Thai food over Asian American Asian American Asian food because to be honest I've never had real Asian food. Uh, the stuff we eat here is not real Asian food. The stuff we eat here is not real Mexican except for here and quite a few places you can actually find some authentic Mexican. I love Mexican food. Beans. I don't understand somebody who doesn't like beans. You gotta love some beans. There's so many variety of beans. You have to like one of them. Just teasing. Okay, you know what I like? I like so far what this looks like, but I want it to dry and then we'll see. Kind of want to grab and put on here. And since I'm pushing, I know I'm getting some on the opposite side as well. That's a pretty pink right there. Huh? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. Look how pretty. Did you know that was going to happen? I didn't. But I allowed it to happen by being naughty and putting it down that way. Yes, ma'am. I'll do it again. Where did it go? Well, I don't know where it went, but it seems to want to go here, so that's where it's going to go. You want to go here, kid? You're more than welcome. Let's be naughty again. Let's see. So I'm putting some pressure. picking up, um, of course I'm picking up um, the tissue paper and the coffee filter and I'm fine with that. I like the surprise. I'm loving these. Down they go. I love the way that looks but let's see what else can happen. I love the way that looks but let's see what else can happen. That's what could happen. I love it. I love it. There's one down here. It's stuck to the other one and that's fine. So I was um, hoping to have gotten the other stencils for the month of March. I had made arrangements with a company, the company for the other stencils for the, what are they, what were they called? Oh, totally forgot. Starts with an F. Well, anyways, the video's up there, right? I, they're beautiful stencils, but we had made a deal 
that we were going to work together every month looks like either they weren't happy for the views a hundred views is not good enough for them um, to me a hundred views is perfect five views is fine I'm reaching a certain amount of people somehow some way but um, they didn't work with me this month so for March I was supposed to do boho with their stencils but they didn't come through and that's unfortunate that com some companies do that they, were, they are a small family owned company and I didn't think that, that we would be in the future not working with each other when our deal was to work with each other um, I don't know what happened I want to know the name of the company though what was it guys leave the name down below if you remember I sure don't remember mm, it'll come to me but what I can do is look on my channel it was a name that I would always get mixed up something stencils Okay. Stencil Revolution. Yeah. I guess I didn't get enough views for for their liking. Which really shouldn't matter. I didn't look at them as a company and say, "Oh, well, you're not a big company. I don't want to work with you." 215 views for that review. It's fine. It's something. But I wouldn't make promises with a person, an artist, in trade for stencils and make a verbal agreement on working with them for a few months and then they don't come through. That kind of sucks. I may take down the video since it's not good enough for them. Mama, mm. do you want the drink? Why? Taking me. Yeah. You want three shots now, right? Mm-hmm. Do you want it in a bigger cup? Sure. Okay. So I'm going to think about it. Hopefully, maybe they see this video and uh, our relationship can be fixed. But so far, they're, they're a no-show, which is fine. kind of sucks, though. But fine. I want to play here, right here a little bit more with some orange, orange, and water. And a, a rough brush. Something really rough. And then we'll still come through and blend all of this together. So, these are just backgrounds. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you. Thank you so very much for letting me come into your room. Thank you for keeping me company. I really appreciate it so very much. And please, anything down below, go ahead and leave me a comment. A suggestion if it is a nice one otherwise no thank you and let me know how your day went let me know how your gardens looking let me know the weather anything so talk to you guys later thank you so very much keep creating bye guys